RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents Transcribe, the Phil Harris, Alice Faye Show. For your enjoyment, here is the Phil Harris, Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Nick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, and yours truly, Bill Foreman. Most people enjoy traveling in a foreign land. They find it exciting. But you don't know how exciting it can be until you have a traveling companion like Phil Harris. Then it can be... But more about that later. First, a word from RCA Victor. New TV stations are opening up from coast to coast. Over 150 are in operation today. So wherever you live, you may soon have television. And when you consider buying a TV set, keep this in mind. Year after year, the big advances in television have come from RCA Victor. And in 1953, RCA Victor again leads the industry by bringing you the new Magic Monitor. Every one of RCA Victor's great new television sets for 53 has this exclusive circuit system that automatically brings in and automatically holds the finest TV pictures possible. The Magic Monitor automatically screens out interference from electrical appliances, automobiles, and passing planes. In weak signal areas, it steps up power automatically. And it automatically locks together the best sound with the clearest picture. So enjoy better television for 1953. See the new RCA Victor television sets at your dealers now. See the handsome 17-inch Wayne, for example. It's priced at a low $199.95. Think of it, RCA Victor quality television with the automatic magic monitor for the price of ordinary television. And remember this, when you buy one of the new RCA Victor television receivers, you can enjoy America's finest television installation through an RCA Victor factory service contract. This exclusive coast-to-coast -coast factory service is just one more big reason why every year more people buy RCA Victor than any other television. Now the stars of the RCA Victor program, Alice Faye and Bill Harris. <laughs> Last week, Elliot found out that Phil and Alice had never been to Mexico. Upon hearing this, he insisted on taking them on a sightseeing trip to Tijuana. They left early this morning, and as we look in, we find them window shopping along the main street in Tijuana. Well, Alice, how do you like Tijuana? Isn't that exciting? Oh, it certainly is. And I love those street singers that have been following us around. It's all so colorful, especially the way the girls are dressed. They're adorable. Oh, Phil, look at that girl over there. I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> I love her harachas, don't you? Yeah, I like her shoes, too. <laughs> uh, Julius, how do you... Julius, where'd he go? He's over there buying some Mexican clothes. Yeah. Hey, look at that thing he bought, that, uh, that... That what? That thing he's got on his head. That thing that comes to a point. What do you call it? His head. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it is. Hey, Alice, why don't we have to bring that little creep along? Well, he's never been to Mexico before, and I thought it would be educational for him. Besides, he's a lot of fun to have along on a trip. Oh, yes, he's a gem of a traveling companion. And all right, fellas, stop taking on Julius. We're here to have a good time. Let's enjoy Mexico. <laughs> Well, they're back again. <laughs> Pancho Waring and his glee club. They've been following us all morning. What's your own fault, Curly? You give them five bucks when they started. You're not going to lose them as long as we're here. Well, I think it's a good band. Well, it should be. That's Red Nichols and his five pesos. <laughs> I wish they'd play something else. I do, too. They're driving me nuts with that. I think I'll ask that leader if they can play something else. Hey, Clyde! Gee, senor, you speak on me. 
<laughs> oh, you speak English? Oh, si, sí, senor. So good I'm speaking that from the real thing you can tell it, don't you? <laughs> We have a Mexican Phil Harris here. <laughs> Senor, uh, you mentioned Phil Harris. You know him? See, si, I know him. Oh, he's a good singer, no? You hit it right on the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like his voice. I like he too. I hear him on the radio and, oh, senor, he has what you Americanos call a lousy voice. <laughs> lousy? Well, it's better than that. It's crummy. <laughs> hey, uh, where'd you learn how to speak English? Well, I listen to the Phil Harris show on the radio. He speaks good, no? All right, Desi. <laughs> Oh, no, my name, she is not Desi, senor Perhaps you have heard of me I am the leader of all the musicians in Mexico Oh, really? What's your name? Pedro Patrillo <laughs> How do you like that? The old man's got a Mexican road company going on. Well, if you're a musician, senor You most like music Yeah, I do Hit it, amigos. Mañana Rancho Grande, allá donde vivía. No, not again, fellas. Not again. Wait a minute. Yeah, break it up, will you? Hold it a minute. Have to hold it. Hold it, he says. What's the matter, senor? You don't shovel this song? It's real Jose. <laughs> That's Mexican bebop for Don't You Dig This Song, It's Real George. <laughs> Look, Pedro, don't you know any popular American songs? Oh, si, senor. How would you like to hear How Much Is That Chihuahua in the Window? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No? <laughs> Look, how about the number one song in America? The song that's on everybody's lips. That's what I like about the song. Oh, she's a good song. We sing him for you. Hit it, amigos. Come with me to Alabama to see my dear old mammy. <laughs> she's broiling me some tacos. It's better than them hot hoes. Oh, won't you come to the city that's known as Old Duwadiddy. Duwadiddy. It's so small but so pretty. But not so nice as Mexico City. <laughs> in Duvalier, All right, wait a minute. Break it. Will you stop it already, Pedro? Break it out. Stop it. What are you guys trying to do to the Confederate national anthem? <laughs> you better let me do this thing. You sing, senor? Happens to be my business. <laughs> Will you sing for me the song Phil Harris always sings, the one about the Mexican club? Mexican club? You know, old Bill Jackson was a gambling cub who joined the Acapulco Club. <laughs> oh, this kid's been clicking his castanets too much. <laughs> hey, if you'll, if you'll lend me your musicians, Pedro, I'll lay one on you. Heed it, amigos. <laughs> Won't you buy, pretty lady? Won't you try something new? Peanuts, popcorn, cracker, jack, and jelly apple, won't you buy from me? Peanuts, popcorn, cracker, jack, and jelly apple, won't you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, won't you buy from me? Peanuts, popcorn, cracker, jack, and jelly apple, won't you buy from me? Peanuts, popcorn, cracker, jack and jelly apple Won't you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, won't you buy from me Won't you buy, pretty lady Won't you try something new Won't you buy, pretty lady Won't you try something new They're all imported from the tropics Just especially for you There's a little fella 
always in the park, selling nuts and candy, happy as a lark, chirpy as a cricket as he strolls along, and everybody loves him and his funny songs. Peanuts, popcorn, cracker, jack and jelly apple, won't you buy from me? Peanuts, popcorn, cracker, jack and jelly apple, won't you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, won't you buy from me? Won't you try, pretty lady? Won't you buy something new? Won't you buy, my pretty lady? They're all imported from the tropics just especially for you. Peanuts, the popcorn, the cracker jack, the jelly apple, won't you buy from me? Peanuts, the popcorn, the cracker jack, the jelly apple, won't you buy, you buy, you buy, you buy, won't you buy from me? Won't you buy, pretty lady? Oh, won't you try something new? Won't you buy, pretty lady? They're all imported from the traffic, just especially for you. So won't you buy, 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 you buy. Ah, magnifico, senor. You sing just like Phil Harris. Well, look, Pedro, I've got a surprise for you. I happen to be Phil Harris. You is him? Amigos, you hear that? That is Phil Harris, the famous bum with a lousy voice. <laughs> All right, Pedro. Oh, in your honor, we sing another song. Uh, what do you like to hear? I don't care what it is, as long as it's something about the South, something like, hey, way down upon the Swanee River. Swanee River? Uh, how does that go, senor? It goes like this. Way down upon the Swanee River far, Oh, si, sí, si, sí, senor, si sí, I know this one good Hit it, amigos Way down upon the Swanee The Swanee, Swanee River <laughs> <laughs> A light so, so handy I All right, that's enough, Pedro brandy. All right, stop Wait a minute, wait a minute Get your Rio Grande out of my Swanee <laughs> Well, come on, it's getting late And I'd like to do a little shopping before we go home Yeah, I'm getting hungry I'd like to get some Mexican food And maybe meet a couple of those beautiful Mexican girls eh? Hey, Pedro You know of any place we can go? Oh, si, sí, senor I take you to the best place in Tijuana uh, How you like to sink your teeth into a luscious enchilada? It's okay with me if she don't bite back <laughs> Elliot, an enchilada is a Mexican dish. That ain't gonna clear it up for me. <laughs> Look, Elliot, what they're trying to tell you is that an enchilada is food. It's a, a Mexican matzo ball. <laughs> oh, no, no, senor. That is not an enchilada. An enchilada is a crazy blintz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pedro, can you take us to a good place to eat? Oh, si, sí, senor, and while you eat, we serenade you Oh, that's just what we need Phil, if I hear that song once more, I won't be able to eat Let's ask somebody else All right, honey, all right I'll ask another native what... Hey, here comes a guy all dressed up in Mexican clothes I'll ask him <clears throat> What a moi, senor Gracious, buenas noches And you haste la vista where we can eat her? <laughs> you know eat her? Gobble, 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 gobble. What's this tykey trying to say? <laughs> it's the catfish. <laughs> hey, Julius, what are you doing in Mexican clothes? I just bought them. It's a bullfighting suit. Matador pants, sash, bolero jacket, serape, and a pom-pom hat. How do I look? Oh, I wish I was a bull. <laughs> <laughs> You look ridiculous. It's too tight. It's supposed to be tight, and it looks good on me because I have the built for it. Well, I know, kid, but... <laughs> <laughs> you have the what for it? Built! Built! Like a Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You're built like Marilyn Monroe? That's funny. I never noticed it before. <laughs> Did you, Elliot? I can't say that I have. Walk for me, kid. Wiggle a little. <laughs> No, he ain't got it <laughs> Oh, don't let him tease you, Julius I think you have a very nice built Well, thanks, I... I have a nice what? Built, built Like in Victor Mature All right, Alan <laughs> Hey, kid, you can't walk around like that In them tight-fitting pants They look awful with them bow legs of yours Yeah, it looks like he's standing on a pair of ice tongs <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that picture. <laughs> what does it look like to you? Like the entrance to a wine barrel. <laughs> You're so descriptive. All right, knock it off, you guys. My legs ain't bowed. Then why are they bent out like that? Last night, I accidentally took a bath and they got a little walk. <laughs> Fellas, are you going to stand here and tell bad jokes Or are we going to get something to eat? Well, honey, it's four o'clock We ain't going to have time to eat if you want to do some shopping Well, then let's go shopping, Okay, huh? okay Come on, everybody Let's walk over to that shop across the street Si, senor, heat it, amigos Hoy en el rancho grande Hoy en donde vivía Please, please, fellas, please Please, fellas Something wrong, senorita? You know, like him, el rancho grande? Yes, yes I like El Rancho Grande, but I'd like to hear something else for a change. Oh, I tell you what, Senorita. You sing something, and we accompany you. We sing anything you want. Well, all right. I'll, I'll sing side by side. Good. Amigos, she's going to sing side by side, and we'll play El Rancho Grande. Hit it, amigos. <laughs> Maybe we're ragged and funny, but we'll travel along singing a song side by side. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel the road sharing our load side by side. Through all kinds of weather, what if the sky should fall just as long as we're together it doesn't matter at all when they've all had their quarrels and parted we'll be the same as we started just traveling along singing a song and we'll be side by side side by side side by side, side, by side. we'll keep on walking together life will be a ball let everyone everyone join together one for all Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money Maybe we're ragged and funny But we'll travel along Singing a song Side by side Oh, we don't know what's coming tomorrow Maybe it's trouble and sorrow But we'll travel the road Sharing our load Side by side all kinds of weather What if the sky should fall Just as long as we're together Ooh, it doesn't matter at all When they've all had their quarrels and parted We'll be the same as we started Just traveling along Singing a song Anything else you want to buy, senora? We've got a lot of nice things in our shop. No, I don't think so. I bought everything I want. An alligator bag, some silver buckles, and some haraches for the children. Phil, did you buy anything? Nothing for myself, but I bought you some perfume, dear. Oh, how sweet. What kind of perfume? Twelve bottles of breath of tequila. <laughs> Tequila 
perfume. It's a liquor. It is? <laughs> oh, I've made a horrible mistake. Well, I'm sure the lady will exchange it for you. Ask her. Oh, honey, why trouble her? Ask her. Oh, okay. Senorita, will you exchange this tequila for some perfume? Oh, si, senor. You won't, huh? <laughs> si is no in Spanish, dear. Only to you. Elliot, do you buy anything? Oh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to take back home. I'm bringing mother and dad some souvenirs from Mexico. Oh, how thoughtful. What'd you get your mother? A high ally bat. <laughs> Elliot. Yes, sir. I know I'm nuts, but I'm going to ask it. What did you get for your father? Something daddy will love. You see, he eats a lot of Mexican food, and this is something no Mexican would sit down to the dinner table without. What is it? A rubber tongue cover. <laughs> It's great for eating, eating that, that hot Mexican food. Yeah. <laughs> it's fireproof and it's adjustable to fit any size tongue. A small child. A tongue. Down, Gomez. Down. <laughs> a rubber tongue cover for Dad. Look, come on, will you? <laughs> Let's load all of our packages in the car and get started home. Hey, Julius, you ready to leave? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey, what do you got in all them packages? Mexican trinkets that I bought for me girlfriend, Fido. <laughs> Fido? That's not a girl's name Elliot Have you ever seen his girl? <laughs> no Well, I have And believe me, the name fits <laughs> You mean? Like a Russian wolfhound <laughs> Don't be a wise guy Fido's just a nickname Her real name is Frisky <laughs> what did you buy for your girlfriend? Well, she's crazy about bullfighting So I got her a matador sword, a red cape And a gift certificate for five bullfighting lessons <laughs> What's in that big package? A bull <laughs> Isn't that a little too personal? After all, you're not married to this girl yet and It you're ain't a get... real bull, you dope It's a bronze statue You guys will have to help me carry it out to the car It's awful heavy All right, Elliot and I will help you carry it out Alice, uh -huh. you carry the rest of the packages out to the car And then open the trunk compartment for it All right All right, come on, fellas Let's lift this thing up Elliot, mm -hmm. you and I will take this end Julius, you take the other end yeah. Ready? Yep Hit it Careful, fellas, don't drop it Oh, fellas, hurry up I can't hold this trunk compartment door open We're forever. hurrying, we're hurrying As soon as we get it in now, honey Just drop the door Come on, fellas Let's get this bull in fast hurry Julius, up. you back up Come on, Elliot All right, rush it in All right, here we go Well, we got it in, Curly Let me out of here, you jokes Let me out of here What do you know? We shoved Julius in by mistake. Let me out of here! What do you think, Curly? <laughs> the car'd be less crowded this way. Stop kidding. You've got to let Julius out. Okay, we'll let him wait out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not so fast. Before we do, there's something I've always wanted to know. Hey, Julius! What? Does that light really go out in there when you close the door? Are you crazy or something? Me little lungs is bursting for air and you're asking stupid questions. Open the door! Open the door! High strung lad, isn't he? <laughs> I think he's neurotic. <laughs> This nonsense and let Julius out of All there. right, all right, I'll let him out. But I don't, can't possibly see why. Uh-oh. What? Handle's jammed, ain't gonna open. It won't open. Oh, no, this is the end. I can see my whole life flashing before me. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Well, go already. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like it, so I came back. <laughs> Probably wouldn't take them down. Look, kid, as soon as we get across the border, we're going to stop at a garage and then have them pry the door open. Keep quiet. Oh, I don't know if there's enough air in here to last that long. Can't you pipe some into me? <laughs> 
air he wants already. How are we going to pipe air into him? I got an idea, Curly. There's a little crack at the edge of the door there. I'll just put my mouth to it and blow some air in. Here comes some air, kid. Breathe deep. <laughs> some air into you. You have to use the exhaust pipe. <laughs> Will you come on? Let's get in the car and get across the border. Come on, he's gonna be all right. Come on. Hey, Curly, we're coming to the United States border. Yeah, I know, I know. We're going to have to pull over there and declare everything. Yeah, I hope it doesn't take too long. Ah, don't worry. I know how to handle these custom officers. Okay, bud, open the gate. Phil Harris is coming through. <laughs> Just a moment, please. Guess he didn't hear the name. <laughs> Do you folks have anything to declare? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, nothing much, officer. Just a few little souvenirs, nothing to speak of. Well, I'm sorry, but I'll have to search your car routine checkup. A lot of aliens have been smuggled into the country lately. <laughs> what have you got in the trunk? Nothing. We ain't got a thing in there. <laughs> what was that? The thing. <laughs> it wants to get out. Holy smoke. Hey, Elliot, I forgot about Julius. Open that trunk. Look, mister, I, I, I'm sorry, but I can't open it. The, the handle's jammed. I've got a crowbar that'll unjam it. I'll see what's in here. What's this thing? It's a seal we picked up in Ensenada. <laughs> I'll get the horns out and he'll play a tune for you. Now, don't be funny, Mac. You fellas are under arrest for trying to smuggle this Mexican boy into the States. Oh, no, no, he ain't no Mexican. He's just dressed like one. He bought that thing. Hey, Julius, tell the officers you're not a Mexican. Si, sí, senor. Officer, I'm not a Mexican. My name, she is Julius Juan Pedro Gonzalez Gomez. Julius, Julia. cut that out. <laughs> Who is this car? Lock him up and throw away the keys. Julius, you can't do this to us. I'm doing it. Adios, senor. See you in 20 years. Viva la Mexico. Hit it, amigos. <laughs> Gee, Curly, this science fiction stuff is the greatest. I just read one where this guy invents a machine that he can tune in all different kinds of climate just like a television set. You mean like you just turn on Channel 4 for April in Paris or springtime in the Rockies on Channel 3? Yeah, imagine that. Tuning in cool seashore weather on a hot summer day. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, it'd be great, Elliot, but that's not science fiction. That's exactly what you can do with the new RCA room air conditioner. Yeah? Sure. Listen, Elliot, the new RCA room air conditioner has the wonderful climate tuner so that you can dial in just the kind of indoor weather you want on hot summer days. In fact, with a RCA room air conditioner, you feel better all year round. Gee, those RCA scientists must be geniuses. Painstaking geniuses, too. They follow through all the way by making available RCA factory service for RCA room air conditioners for the finest in service and installation. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's hop in a rocket ship and go see those RCA room air conditioners right now. Included in this program transcribed were June Foray, Mel Blanc, and Peter Leeds. The part of Julius was played by Walter Tetley. Next, hear Theatre Guild on the air over NBC.